Hello, uh, Stu here from DIYmusic.co.uk. I'm going to show you quickly how to set up a MIDI controller and link it to some parameters in FL Studio. Now I've just bought a FBV Express Mark II expression pedal, uh, which is by Line 6. I managed to get it from a friend for just 40 quid. If I show you, it's, uh, yeah, it's one of these. Uh, you see a wire style pedal with some foot switches there. So uh, I haven't even plugged it in yet. It's a USB connection, so I've got the wire here. I'm just going to plug it into the USB slot in my laptop and see what happens. Okay, now that's plugged it in. It's set up there. MIDI devices refreshing, which is cool. So the first thing you do is go to options and MIDI settings. Now in here you can see it already it's showing in your input and uh, your output. So we'll, well, we've already got it enabled. So FBV Express Mark II enabled. Generic controller is absolutely fine for now because it's a very simple controller. Close that. Now if I put my foot on it, we can see here we're getting a signal. That means there's an unassigned MIDI signal coming through. So it's green with a question mark. So if I want to use this pedal to control something in FL Studio, there are a few uh, routes to that. One of the easiest, if it's a native plugin or something in the uh, uh, the mixer, right click and link to controller. Click it. If you've got auto detect here, and then move the controller. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm moving my foot now and I can move that <clears throat> that volume slider from the bottom right to the top. Fantastic. So if I just play you see I'm controlling the volume of this sound. Fantastic. So if I want to unassign that, click again on link to controller. Put auto detect off because it'll pick up the pedal if I move it at all. Hit reset. There you go. Accept. Moving the pedal, nothing happens. So that's the easiest option, and that'll work for most of your native plugins. Uh, almost anything's got a link to controller option, and it just picks up your controller straight away if you've got auto detect in that. Now, if you've got a uh, plugin that isn't native, sometimes, uh, for example, the uh, Synth One, you right click, nothing happens. So I want to control this frequency. What am I going to do? You've got two options. The first one is to give it a little tweak and then go to Tools, Last Tweaked, and here we go, Link to Controller. So you can see here it says Synth One VST filter frequency, that was the last thing I moved. Link to controller, auto detect, move. There we go, look at that. So I'm now controlling that frequency with my foot switch. Which is great fun. So you can use that live or you can record the automation uh, and gives it much more natural feel rather than using a, a filter envelope or, or anything like that. There is another way. Sometimes it won't pick it up as the last tweaked in, in some VSTs. In which case, if I quickly cancel that. Okay, I can't cancel it. I'll just show you. If you click here, you see the option Browse Parameters. Click on that and it lives, gives you a list of every single parameter that that uh, plugin has. Now we already have uh, the filter frequency set linked to controller. So you can see it's already picking up, it's called it control 7. If I move again, it, it's already set to that. So let's try turning it off and back on just to show you. Browse parameters, right click link to controller. I'll switch auto detect off and reset so we got nothing. So now my pedal's not doing anything. Let's try something a bit different. Let's, uh, let's go for the pitch. 
or the detune up here. Okay, I don't know how much difference I'll make, but we'll can right click, pull down that menu, go to browse parameters, oscillator one. Can't see a detune. Let's go for pitch. Maybe that's the one. Right click, link to controller, auto detect. Try that again. It didn't work for some reason. Okay. Browse parameters. Pitch. Link to controller. It's already on auto detect. There we go. Okay, so it's gone for that pitch there. Let's see what happens. It's horrible. So there you go. Very simple, very intuitive. Just plugged it in and started linking it to controllers. You can use that. <clears throat> you can use that with uh, pretty much any USB device that sends MIDI information. So I've also got an uh, Akai MPK Mini. It's got a few uh, dials on there. Um, even my interface has controllers on it which I can use to control anything I want. I'm really excited about having this foot pedal because I've got a few amp sims with little wads and things like that that I can play with. Uh, so maybe I'll show another video about that later. But for now, I hope that's helped. Um, remember, I'm Stu from DIYmusic.co.uk. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Uh, there's a website um, on Facebook and Twitter, or um, when this is on YouTube, you can comment below the video. And uh, just let me know if you've got any comments or any questions. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.